What's up guys, Tech Mike here and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of Apple's brand new music playing app, Apple Music. Once you're signed up for the 3 month free trial, Apple gives you a choice between an individual or bulk pay, which means $9.99 or $14.99 depending on how many people will be using it. Now once in the For You section, there's a different view of genres available to you. Picking one will give you individual artists and groups that will be displayed in that genre. Now for me, I will be picking Kid Cudi, Kanye West, and Drake, three artists that I listen to very often. From there, we'll click Done to see where we're going. Once artists are chosen, we're able to see brand new music from them, playlists by them, albums, and everything else you can imagine. For example, clicking on this Kanye playlist will give us different music from all his different albums. Once you reach the bottom of the page, you're able to see featured artists similar to the one you've chosen. Once on that page, you're able to see the latest releases, their top songs, albums, videos, and other videos and albums released from them. Then on the top right corner, you're able to see music from that artist that you do yourself own. For example, I have the Magna Carta album on my phone, the song Holy Grail. Then once we hit new, we can take a look at all the new releases for Apple Music that they have available. Everything from new music to albums to top songs, everything again you could imagine. Also, there's ability to choose certain genres only. That way you can eliminate everything you don't want and keep everything you do. New to the radio app is Beats One, a brand new radio station included in the radio application. You're able to look at previous radio stations you've looked at, all the new popular ones they have available, and everything from pop to country music in hand. Now, Beats One radio station itself is nothing more than the most popular songs on demand. Once clicking on it, you're able to play the music right out, right away, and it's not bad. It has a good selection of music ranging from the most popular pop to EDM hits, all that you could hear on the radio itself. Then, clicking on the bottom, you're able to start a station just from the song, adding it to your music, buying it, or even making a playlist from it. You can share the song or share the station to friends or family. Once we move on to the connect section of the Apple Music app, you're able to follow artists that you would be welcomed with, that you would interact with, anything like that. So it's the social media portion of the app. So for example, I'll be following TI, someone that I do enjoy listening to. From there, I can check out all his latest releases, his music, and his videos. A way to keep in touch with everything the artist is doing. Finally, we end up with the actual music app. This is where your private music is held with all the music and genre that you own personally. Looking up top, you're able to see your recently played music along with all your artists, something that isn't new to Apple. One of the newest things in music is the way that music is played. If you notice at the bottom of the screen, you have a little view of what the music is playing and by who. Once shown, it has a different display of exactly what to play. Adding a cue is simple as well. You press the add button and head over to what you'd like to find. For example, in music, I want to play Pursuit of Happiness multiple times. I'll just keep tapping on that as many times as I'd like. Once I'm done, I'll press done. From there, you're presented with the amount of songs played along with which ones will be played next. Changing the order is simple as well. You just hold on and drag up. Now, you can't really tell with this because I have the same song played over and over again. But in reality, that's how it works. Once you head back to the now playing screen, you'll be able to shuffle the song along with playing it on repeat. Then, you can also add it to a playlist, you can mute it, and you can send it to friends as well. After using Apple Music, I can say that it's a smart decision they made to purchase Beats. One thing that I do find a little strange though, is the way that everything looks. It's something of a similarity to Spotify. Maybe it's just my own preference because I've used Spotify so much. Overall though, it looks like Apple has a good app on its way and many people might even change from Spotify or Pandora to Apple Music because it's the same price point and it's already integrated in their iPhones. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumb this video up and subscribe to me so I can send out more content to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you want anything specific. I'll see you in the next video.